New Volvo XC60 SUV revealed at Geneva, specs, pictures, and video. Volvo's new Audi Q5 rival, the XC60, breaks cover at Geneva ahead of going on sale this summer. Volvo's big reveal at the Geneva Motor Show is an all-new, second-generation XC60 SUV a new 5-seat 4x4 which sits underneath the large XC90 in the firm's SUV lineup. It shares its platform and much of its styling with its bigger sibling, but Volvo has also worked in some individual character into the XC60, and is keen to pitch it as more than just an XC90 on a smaller scale. It's part of an SUV blitz by the Swedish mark. Following the release of the XC60, an even smaller XC40 is set to follow which will be based heavily on Volvo's 40.1 concept. At the recent Geneva Motor Show Volvo's Vice President of Design, Thomas Ingenlath, told us, I am relaxed coming out with the XC60, because it isn't such a revolution as the XC90 was. But it is a big step and improvement with the new platform. I'm tempted to ask, what could go wrong? The driver sits lower in the XC60 than its larger brother, and the muscular-looking door creases, Extended Thor's hammer headlights and new grille mark out the lower, sportier SUV. It has a longer bonnet than its Audi Q5 rival, and a longer roofline. There's a definite family resemblance to the XC90, however, especially inside. The dashboard, seats, and upholstery will all be familiar to XC90 owners, the same 8.0-inch touchscreen and 12.3-inch digital dial displays feature. The new model is 62 mm longer, 12 mm wider and 14 mm lower than the outgoing XC60, and the 91 mm longer wheelbase means there's more legroom in the rear. At launch, all models will be four-wheel drive and use an 8-speed automatic gearbox, but as with the XC90, only four-cylinder engines will be available. The range starts with the 187 bhp D4 and 232 bhp D5 diesels, which will make up the bulk of sales, but there will also be a T8 plug-in hybrid with 401 bhp and an all-electric range of 35 miles. Finally, a T5 petrol with 251 bhp will satisfy those who want more performance. Front-wheel drive models will be added to the lineup later, as well as a smaller T4 petrol with 197 bhp and a more economical 150 bhp D3 diesel. Volvo sources have already hinted that we will see a three-cylinder motor in the XC60 at some point in the medium term, as well as a smaller engined, more economy-focused hybrid. Air suspension is optional on the XC60, and can be set up with driving modes for on- and off-road progress. Of course, being a Volvo, there's plenty of cutting-edge safety kit on board, including a new standard system that can help steer away from a potential collision. Rear cross-traffic alert and a semi-autonomous driving mode called Pilot Assist will also feature. Production of the all-new XC60 SUV begins in Sweden this April, with cars expected to arrive in the UK in the summer priced from around £35,000.